Good afternoon, traders. In this video, I want to teach you how to read the net account value and cumulative PL on your Weeble desktop platform. You're also, as a bonus, going to learn everything about my trading account since day one up until now. I've been trading about 14 months now. You know that if you've been watching my videos, I've been test trading a market open strategy with real money, one single share for the past couple of months. Before that, I was trading full position size in the pre-market. And before that, I was doing probably lots of random things just like all new traders do. And I've also, in the past two or three months, I've been swing trading with this account with SPXL. So we're going to learn how to read the net account value, the cumulative PL, and as a bonus, you're going to learn everything about my trading since day one. So this is Weeble Desktop. We're on the accounts page. We're on net account value. I have it set to five days. That's what the 5D stands for. So obviously this tells, or maybe not, so obviously this tells you the net account value over the past three days. They just kind of throw in this daily PL here. And then if you look over here, it says plus 32, that's dollars, $32.07. So that's just the difference from back here until now. And then uh, plus 10%. But don't let this stuff kind of go to your head because this could kind of trick you into thinking that you're doing much better than you are. Or maybe someone you're watching, like me, you might think that I'm doing much better than I actually am. So this plus $32 and plus 10% includes some unrealized uh, gains that you can see right here in my uh, SPXL swing trade. So now let's go on to the one month time frame, and you can see here kind of an ebb and flow in my account value. And again, that's because of my SPXL swing trade. As SPXL goes up and makes all time highs, so does my account while I'm holding those uh, shares. And then once I get stopped out, usually for a profit, which that happened right here, I lose some of that unrealized PL, but that's all part of swing trading. And now you can see that things are kind of going um, back up with that SPXL swing trade. Let me show you that chart really quick so you can see kind of how this mimics, especially if I adjust the scale. If you look at, let's change this to a line graph, you're going to see this look almost exactly like my um, account value. Let me zoom in on it. So look at this, this shape here. Try to get my position stuff out of the way. I guess that's impossible. I can't move my position bubble, but just take a look at this shape here and let's go back to that account page. And you could see maybe this is slightly more horizontal, but overall it's basically the same shape. And then over the three month period, whenever you see a huge peak like this, that's almost always indicative, if not always, of a deposit made in the account. And that's what happened back here, is I was trading with um, my Chase account. I was swing trading with that. I decided to withdraw all those funds. I did have a uh, you know, few decent winning trades, but there was a lot of limits to that account. So I withdrew those funds and I deposited everything into Weeble and just decided to split it up manually. So I'm, I'm going to use at the maximum about half of my account for for swing trading and about half of my account for day trading at least as of right now that could change in the future now when we go on to the sixth month time frame you're seeing all the way back almost to, from the beginning of the year year to date that does show you from the beginning of the year till now so at the beginning of the year i was trading with about 500 dollars, and then now we're up to 1.27 uh, thousand and again that's a lot of that is deposits uh not just trading and swing trading a lot of that growth is, is from those two things. Mostly deposits though, like obviously this is from my uh, Chase deposit. Then the one year time frame that shows you going back to July 26th of 2020. And then max, this is from the very beginning of my trading. And if you guys were around last year with Weeble, you remember that, well, even just as of maybe a month ago, you had to deposit $100 to get started trading with Weeble. And that's the way it was when I started. And they give you access to that money right away. So you can start trading with it right away. And just like everybody else, I lost some of that money in the beginning, about five bucks. So my $100, you know, turned into $95. And then you can see the account change here as I go to the right. And then here's, these are some deposits. This is not really due to trading. So now here's where now this is let me just show you one other feature before we go into the cumulative PL. If you go into custom, you can select any range if you want to see like, OK, for the month of July, what happened uh, to my account value or maybe what happened from June to July. There you go. So that's what the custom feature does. Now let's take a look at cumulative PL. I think it's still going to be 
on, yeah, it's going to be showing you the custom setting here, June 1st to July 1st. So that's where we are in that time period. If we go, let's go back over to this five day. So that's showing the PL over the last five days, 1797 plus 1.44%. But here's a very important detail. This includes the unrealized gains that I have right now from SPXL. So as that price eventually comes back down and stops me out, that could go down. So again, don't let this stuff go to your head when you're looking at your own cumulative PL. Don't be tricked by other YouTube traders that are showing you, uh, you know, claiming to show you their PL and their account value. I'm not saying that it's all fake or that everyone is lying, but if I had to put money on it, I would say the majority are. So just as long as you understand how this stuff works, you can read it for yourself and understand for yourself what you're looking at. Some people don't even show you their PL. Okay, so here we go with uh, one month. And again, this is including these unrealized gains from this trade three months, six months, and year to date. So including these unrealized uh, profits, this is how much I've made year to date. That includes my swing trades. Most of that is from the swing trading, not that much is from the day trading. The day trading is pretty much flat. Right here you can see kind of a big hump in the account and that was when I was day trading the pre-market with a very strict plan. I have a bunch of those live recaps on my YouTube channel if you wanna see those videos and see what I was doing. But it basically grew the account about $50 um, in March and then I proceeded to trade the exact same way, follow the exact same plan, same rules. I was better at it. I, I never broke any rules in the plan. And then what happened is I gave all that money back trading the exact same way. So that could just be the ebb and flow of the market. But uh, and I could have regained those losses um, going forward. But my long term goal with what I was doing in the pre market was to apply what I learned to the market open. And I was able to start that in May. So that's what all of this is. When you see this kind of going flat, that's me just working on my market open uh, day trading. And then over here where you see the increases in the PL, that is mostly the swing trades with SPXL. Now let's go back one year. You're gonna kind of see the same thing again, but you can see a little bit further back um, kind of where this is all PL. This is not account growth, this is just PL. So it doesn't take into account your account size just how much money you're making from your trades. Now let's go to Max. This will show you from the very beginning of my trading. I started trading back in May 2020, and obviously I was kind of going sideways and maybe little ups and downs along the way for the first few months. And after trading for a couple of months and you kind of think either you've got it figured out or I just need to uh, take more risks or something to make more money, and then this is the result of that. That's a pretty... Uh, common story with all new traders and then by the end of October beginning of November I kind of decided after losing uh, it looks like about $70 um, that I decided either I'm going to now that's not to say that that was like 70% of my account because I did deposit money um, into the account as things went on so it's not like I was at $100 in the beginning, it was down to $30 over here. That doesn't quite tell you the whole story. But either case, I was definitely losing a lot of money in, in the fall of 2020 relative to my account size and relative to my previous um, trading. So what I did in the end of October, beginning of November, as I made a conscious decision to really focus on working on my day trading plan and rules and sticking to my strategy and my rules no matter what and then i would force myself to stop trading if i broke any rules i would stop trading for an entire month so here is where you see the results of all of that this kind of sideways slightly upward movement uh, obviously if i did not take that action things would have probably just continued on downward the way that they were previous to that so obviously that made a positive impact on my PL. and then back here or over here you're seeing the results of that pre-market trading that I was doing in March. Again, this does not show any deposits. It doesn't show any free stocks or anything like that. So this is strictly trading PL. And then here you see what happened in April, trading that same plan and the drawdown there. And then this is me getting ready to, to uh, test trade the market open back in May. And then all of this, the vast majority of that is all from swing trading, not day trading. Because as you know, 
probably that I am only trading with one single share while I'm going through this market open test trading process. That way we can limit our losses. So even though the plan is proving profitable, we're not seeing that reflected in the P&L because we're only taking one share on each trade. Now, the other thing you might be wondering is, well, if it says that I'm up $15 and change since the beginning of my trading, why does it show minus 30.8%? It's because the way that um, Webull calculates this percentage is based on the high highest point of your account compared to where you are right now. So it's kind of hard to get it, but it's somewhere around $45 or so, um, the high point, and right now we're at $15. So if you do a little percent change calculation, you're going to get right around that number. So that's what that red uh, percent change is. It's saying that from my the high point of my account to where I am right now, I'm down uh, 30%. But again, that's totally normal. It's to be expected. This should not, uh, you know, scare you if this if you see this on your account because I'm in a swing trade and at the peak of SPXL's price action, uh, my account was obviously way up here. And then when I got stopped out for a profit, because you can see down here this kind of lower low. So you know I made a profit from that swing trade. Then uh, the account was right here, and now we are back up to this $15 level of P&L. So hopefully that shed some light on how to read the net account value and cumulative P&L, and also as a bonus gave you a little look into my trading long term, and hopefully you can see that trading is really hard <laughs> because if you follow my videos, you know that I'm pretty disciplined. I'm pretty good at writing the plans and executing the plans and all that kind of stuff. But here I am about 14 months later, I'm just barely green P&L wise on my account. And most of that is because of the swing trades. So I'm just kind of figuring out a profitable day trading system as of right now. So hopefully this maybe encourages you, but also gives you some pause for the cause because sometimes you got to take a step back and say, hey, this isn't going to happen overnight, especially with day trading. There's so much involved. There are so many ways to make mistakes. There's so many ways to blow up your account. But um, this is where I'm at right now. And I'm proud of this because I could be deep in the red. I could have blown up this account. And again, this does not show you any reflection of deposits or anything like that. So this is where I am in reality with just my trading since day one on this account. So hopefully this video was helpful to you. If it was, hit the like button. If you haven't already, hit subscribe. As always, go into every single trade with a plan. Trade that plan. Stick to it no matter what. Always take your stop losses. Honor your profit target. And in the long run, you should be green. Take care.